Bye. You ought to know, because I've done some research, and the thing this factory does, oh, I was shocked, I was, I was shocked. I think the worst thing was what it was doing to the babies. I just can't stand that kind of thing. I'm sure you can't. I bet they've told you you're making cupcakes, haven't they? I mean, what have they told you? Because you're not making cupcakes. You're not making cupcakes in there, guys. Excuse me, smokers. Excuse me, you two people destroying your health over there. Excuse me. Oh, they can't do either. They must have their iPods on. Maybe it's like they think it was four five. No. I'm going to stand next to you. It's good for my Don't shout. Excuse me. Shout. Excuse me. Hello, excuse me. My name's Mrs. Balaclava, and, and I've been doing some research on the internet. And I found out that this factory does some really bad things, and I thought you ought to know. So I'm sure they've told you that you make, I don't know, hair dryers or something, but, it, but you don't. Because if you knew, I mean, you wouldn't work here if you knew you were making bomb parts now, would you? I mean, that would be ridiculous. You do not have enough film. Sure well, the thing is, Sean, you never cease to amaze us and surprise us, so, you know, <laughs> we're just waiting for that classic moment. What classic moment? Well, just... they'll, they'll, it'll come, don't worry. I'll just speak some honesty in... <laughs> now, excuse oh, me, cool. oh, excuse me, I was going to have a bit of a nag at you for having a plastic bag, but we'll let that one ride right now. Now, I just want to clarify to let you know that you're working in a factory that makes bomb parts and I'm sure they haven't told you, otherwise you wouldn't be there. Just in case, I think you ought to know. <coughs> and if you need any help getting another job, we don't know each other very well, but we could get to know each other and then I could be your job reference. I'd say there's a man with morals, I would say. Gave up a job in the bomb park factory. You've got a lovely face. So that is just aiming, you're aiming your... That's no way to do it. Just fuck off out of there. Just fuck off out of there. Get out of his life. I've had enough of him alive. He, 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 Letting go. Right, right but if, if he was unhappy oh, with us, he did that. it wouldn't be the same, would it? The bottom line is, okay, right, well, if he's dealing with him, we'll if he's with him, him, then they're fine. But don't okay. antagonise him, right, just let, let him go. Right, let him go, fine. Right. But just don't, you know, you should not be seen to make it look as though they're... We're not. We're right. okay, diffusing the situation. Right. Right. Okay. You were getting in his face at the end of the day, but and I don't want you to get into trouble, okay? To be fair, you're getting into you. Yeah, I said, but they're still around now. That's fair enough. They're sorting him out. I understand that. He did drive at us. <laughs> oh dear, the poor man. Well, karma. I think he'll be off sick. That gentleman, that gentleman's not well. You don't do things like that. Stressed. Well, how would you feel if you just discovered the factory you're working in made bomb parts? Yeah, that's true. You don't think it would do the rest mm. I think it would finish me <laughs> off. <laughs> I thought. Right, the way I've chosen to deal with this, um, I have had a chat with the gentleman with the moped. I've explained to him that, um, you know, that isn't acceptable. Yeah, okay. Okay, you can't, can't do that. Um, understandably, He's worked here for a very long time and he feels frustrated because yeah, yeah. Um, they, they have to endure this every Wednesday. Um, it's your right to protest. We've explained that you've got a right to protest. Um, if, he's, if, he, if he doesn't like coming out through this gate, he's always got the other gate to use. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's taken that on board. He's obviously had a particularly bad day today and that's unfortunately been frustrated on yourselves. Um, he's apologetic about it. 
he was too keen on coming over and saying sorry to you guys. That was, yeah, was um, which I'm not too surprised. But he has been duly warned about his actions and not to do it again. Okay. And I can assure you, I have got his details. Um, but at this stage, we have chosen to use words of advice. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And that, all I was trying to that's do there is to use it. Yeah, that's fair okay. enough. Okay. Okay. I mean, but it does just make you know, if we're if we're in there and we're told to go to the side, and then somebody aims their car or bike at us, it means well, where do we go? So we might as well stay in the middle. I think the problem we had, he had a fluorescent jackets here, and um, yeah. well, it, I mean, obviously he, he, he drove towards yes. us. He took the opportunity to drive towards us. Instead of using a smaller back. gap, he's decided to make a point yeah, of driving yeah, at you. Yeah. Yeah. And we have we have spoken to him about it. It's very not tolerated, yeah. and he's accepted yeah, that. That's very enough. Okay. All right. All right. Cheers. No worries, thanks. Very in depth research. I make bomb parts. I couldn't believe it myself because I thought all these lovely people like your good self who work here. Well, you wouldn't be working here if you knew what it did. You're dropping bombs on all those children and their parents. It's a terrible business. Excuse me, but one of your workers, he seems a bit stressed. I think you should give him a day off tomorrow. I think he's just worked out. He works in the bomb parts factory and I think the stress was just too much for him. I want my photographs. It, Paul, Paul, can you do, download a still photograph and get Marines to sign it of us two standing together? If you think I'm going to give any of my footage to you, um, well, voluntarily, my admission, voluntarily <laughs> you are having a joke. No, I don't <laughs> want, I would you want a... Uh, no, no, I'm afraid that's... That's no, nice, isn't it? It's not going to happen. That's a no, Sergeant <coughs> McDonald. What about if you lend me your uh, tape and I'll uh, do it? I, you don't need to get You don't need to have, get an excuse to get any of my tapes, do you? It's pretty plainly shown, plainly showed that. So um, let's not go there, eh? It was only a request. You could only say it's, yes or it's, no. It's a, it's a no, then. OK, thank you. I'll have to get my own photograph. You will have to get your own. I, I, you only have to ask your Ford Intelligence team. They have plenty of photographs of us together, I'm sure. Oh, I was. It's your Ford Intelligence team. <laughs> your Ford Intelligence team. <laughs>